Morning everybody, I'm here with Marshall picking up some stuff and Marshall always laughs that I live in the uh, hood. Well, I'm taking him down to Santa Rosa's real hood down here. Uh, this is uh, pretty, uh, pretty famous stomping grounds for tweakers, for meth production, things like that. Wild savage dogs. You better... This is all the uh, migrant housing. And, uh, I don't know what they're doing with it now. I think this stuff was slapped up in the 1930s during the Depression. These enormous properties. I'm not sure if this is abandoned or not now. This is uh, what this actually used to be was part of an airfield here. The Navy Air Corps had their uh, housing here, I believe. That's really the hood, Marshall. Huh? I wonder if anybody lives in here. It's hard to say anymore. I don't think so. I mean, there are uh, studio, yeah. The studio Santa Rosa, I'm not sure what it is. It might be a little renting out for artists or something. But it's a very hard scrabble area. Directly ahead is the uh, big homeless shelter, the Samuel L. Jones shelter there yeah so what this this was uh, put up in the 1940s I believe during World War two this housing I don't know what the theory of this is maybe it's uh maybe it's an artist colony now I don't know. But you can see it's got definitely got some age to it. But, uh, this side, I'm not sure. This side just looks abandoned over here, Marshall. Just so it's, you know, it's probably loaded with lead paint. Yeah. 33 arts. I don't know. I wish somebody was out in the bed. I would ask him about it. Where's this place? Is there? Yeah. Oh. How you doing? Do they use this as an art studio now in here? For yeah. we were just looking around. Okay, so people don't live here anymore. They no, no. Okay, no. it's just a bunch of art studios. Okay, because we're just doing something for YouTube, and this, these buildings are enormous here. So we're I just think these old military buildings. Yeah, I think so. They look like it. Okay, thank you. Didn't mean to bother you. Have a great day. So yeah, they do look like military. Building. She was very nice, so yeah, I guess they're using them as little artists. 33 arts. I guess maybe they have something online. But uh, this is a hard scrabble. <laughs> is that somebody actually living that thing? Got their RV next to it. It'd be a nice workshop, huh? Mm -hmm. Probably get it for cheap. I think that's a, I don't know if that's a pick and pull down there or not, Marshall. Down there, we'll kind of just take a look down here real quick. It looks like there's a salvage right there. I yeah. Think that is one. Boats over there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's a pick and pull or what it is. There's some military gear in here. Turn around. This is an interesting place to roll around. We're just on our way to the. Uh, big box store so I thought it might be kind of interesting to uh, check out this area today and this is uh, really the premier tweaker and like I say meth production area down here Finley Avenue I don't know 
what this place is across the street here. Backside of the old housing now uses art studios. Boy, I hope they got some good fire protection in there. And coming up here on the right is uh, left is the excuse me on the left side is the Samuel L. Jones, which is Santa Rosa's huge uh, huge place for housing. I'm not going to go in there. There's people hanging around. This is uh, a homeless shelter over here. Samuel L. Jones Hall. So, big time. So, there are places for people to go when the weather is cold and nasty. So, okay. Little tour of Tweakerville. <laughs> 